What should we expect when the Olympic torch finally arrives in China? We can expect two things when the Olympic torch arrives in China. On the one hand, there's going to be a strong show of nationalism, um, which might express itself in the form of pride about the Olympics or anger from the Chinese people about what they perceive as Western leaders using the Olympics to meddle in China's internal affairs like Tibet and human rights. And on the other hand, we're going to see international pressure and opinion really find expression in thousands and thousands of protesters on the streets of Hong Kong. Um, and these protesters are, are rallying together to take China to task for its human rights records in Tibet and Darfur and in China at large. What can China do to prevent possible violence before and during the Olympics? The first thing China could do, certainly, is to start dampening the nationalism and the domestic pressure that's calling on China to be really tough on Tibet and human rights. And to do so, it can first start with toning down all the state propaganda that's been accusing the Dalai Lama for all the problems in Tibet and for the Olympic torch protests. I think doing so would really help to begin building that environment that that would be much more conducive to dialogue, whether that's with international leaders or with the Dalai Lama, to, al to find an ultimate solution to the problems in Tibet. What is the United States' place in the lead up to the Olympics? The United States has an interest in advancing human rights in China and abroad. To that end, it should work with other countries to convey a message to China that it really has to address its human rights record in Tibet and abroad. Um, the United States should, again, work with other countries to convey to China right now that it has a fleeting chance. Right now, with the world watching in the run-up to the Olympics, that China can really make a difference and take steps towards addressing its human rights records.